Hey everyone and welcome to my channel and welcome to this quick video just to help your watercolor juices flow and to help you get a little bit inspired into painting. Today I will be using this Arsh watercolor paper and all the materials I will be using are listed in the description box. So if you're interested in something, want to check something out, you can find it there. I have glued it on top of the MDF board and now I'm just wetting the entire paper with just a clean water and I'm leaving it to soak in slightly. This is a 100% cotton watercolor paper, so it just soaks in water very, very nicely. If you're using cellulose watercolor paper, you might not want to leave it to um, soak in. It's not really going to be necessary. And also you don't want to use too much water and create puddles onto the top of your paper because in that case, this wouldn't really work. So it just has to have a nice sheen and be slightly damped on top of your paper. And then I'm using this uh, brush. This is a script brush. You can use any brush you like, maybe a round brush with a pointy tip, but the one that doesn't really hold too much water in it because we don't want too much water in our brush. If you use too much water, you're just gonna put it onto, on top of your paper and just gonna leave a puddle and not create these beautiful tiny little dots looking like florals. So I'm just stopping in with the tip of my paper using slightly lighter and slightly, slightly darker pigment. Also I'm using my own watercolors. This is a mix of blue, uh, darker and lighter brown, making it a grayish tone using this time a little bit more saturated paint and this small detail brush to create the florals. And you can see my florals are a little dots and also somewhat a shapes. I'm just wiggling with my brush, doing a V shape, double V shape, S shape, just letters. You can play around with letters or whatever you like. Adding in some smaller stems, doing the same thing for all of my florals. And just when you're doing your background, make sure you leave a spot for those flowers that are going to be in the foreground. We don't want to make it too crowded in the background. All the way, same thing, but just I'm going to using a little bit lighter and also a little bit darker paint. Quite as simple as that, we are done. This is a very, very fast painting, as I said, just to help you warm your hand and make your creative juices flow. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please hit the like button, share it, comment. I would love to see what you think about this sort of videos, just those quick tips videos. And if you haven't still, please do subscribe to my channel. I have many, many tutorials there. Thank you so much for joining today and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.